Good morning, everybody. Please excuse my eye masks. They were needed this morning. It has been a very, very early start, but what a beautiful start to the day. The sunrise was spine tingling. I took the dogs for a walk around the orchard at five o'clock this morning. I have then washed and blow dried my hair. Obviously the eye masks will be remaining on. These are actually one on one skins um, glowing eye mask. I am going to need it today. Nem from Flowered has just arrived. It's just gone 6 a.m. The blue skies, let me just show you. Look at these skies! <laughs> I'm so excited. So Nem had just unpacked the van. I cannot cope with the beauty that has exited his van. The dahlias, the daisies, the hydrangeas, the roses. It is going to be next level. I just can't wait for you to see it. We've just done a walkthrough of the whole house, all of the arrangements from the hall to the kitchen to the tablescape. We've got an incredible picture moment that's going to be absolutely magical. I can't wait for today. All the planning is fingers crossed going to pay off. And as I said before, I'm gonna show you absolutely everything from the not very glam to the super glam. <laughs> But anyway, I hope you guys enjoy today as much as I am going to. Looking slightly more presentable, just popped on a pretty dress, show you guys all the setup, introduce you to Nem most importantly, and to his incredible floristry assistants. So it is all go, go, go here this morning. We have the main arrangement in the kitchen finished. Um, Anna has just arrived. Claudia is here already filming the um, setup, all of the little details of the flowers, the tablescape. Gosh, we are busy bees this morning. Again, please excuse my very, very bare face. Anyway, let's give you guys a little bit of a show around, show you the setup. Um, it's all coming together. Here we are, the team are in full force. Look at Anna in her beautiful pink dress. Excuse me, we need outfit details. This is Rixo from By Rotation. I'm renting it for the day and then my bag is further. So cute and so on brand, I love it. So Anna's just bringing the Mason Margot things just to our table here, just so that when the floristry team are finished, we can then start laying up the table. Here we have our marble table that we are going to have the ladder rain. This is going to be an enormous floral arrangement. And then we have just placed the tablecloth. Claudia is here. In her PJs looking so glam. <laughs> and um, the floristry team are here, Nem and his incredible florists. This is amazing. Oh my goodness me. <gasps> Nem, this looks incredible. So, Nem, say hi to everybody. Say hi, hi to my everybody. YouTube subscribers. This oh, is Nem, hello. who is head of creative. Am I right in saying yeah, that? Head of floristry and design. A head of floristry Flower for Flowered. <laughs> and we can see why. <gasps> My it's goodness, and this metal. is Martinez, his yeah. assistant, and Shaz, and Shaz <laughs> over here. And look at this incredible meadow yeah, that will be yeah. the central arrangement for our tablescape today. Obviously, they've got very important assistants down here, oh, Lancelot yeah. Yeah, and yeah, Odie are getting involved. <laughs> but look at this. So, Nem, talk me through what you've used here. Oh, I'm so obsessed. we have a beautiful meadow with, of course, cow parsley. You I can't avoid it. that one in the season. Exactly. Delphiniums, cosmos, cosmos, garden roses, Look at the cosmos. and little daisies. The daisies are and everything. And capella dahlias, of course. The dahlias, absolutely. Oh, yeah. let me see this cafe au lait dahlia down here. Mm -hmm. <gasps> I think Josie is going to be loving oh, yeah. those. <laughs> oh, my goodness <laughs> me. Well, I cannot wait to show you guys how we build this tablescape. It is going to be no other than epic. Exactly. Nem and his team have just hit the kitchen and look at this mega arrangement that is currently being built. Oh my goodness me, this looks incredible. Look at the height, absolutely amazing. Oh, I'm just taking a moment, having a sip of coffee. It literally has been hectic this morning. <sighs> and then 
didn't like last minute changes, people saying, oh, I didn't realize how far it is from London. So trying to arrange transport for those who um, hadn't already organized it. Anyway, you know what? If it doesn't happen now, we can't change it. And that's one of my biggest mottos in life is there really is just no point stressing and getting upset about things that you physically cannot change. And if you prepare enough, then these things shouldn't happen. So, you know, it's all going really, really well. Everybody is um, ticking off their to-do list. I am just actually waiting for the team to finish the central um, tablescapes so that I can then start building uh, all of the tableware around it. Um, it's going to be so magical. And then I will obviously pop on some makeup. I will be changing into my birthday dress, which I'm so looking forward to sharing with you. I took you to Amelia Wickstead a few weeks ago, tried on a few dresses, and the dress is one of the ones that I tried on. I then took mommy back last week to show her, and she was like, Leonora, it's a lifetime piece. Um, so um, we, we bought it and I'm going to be wearing it today and for the years to come. It certainly was an investment, but it's paper wear. I'm going to wear that dress hundreds of times. I do not feel shameful about wearing beautiful luxury dresses more than once. <laughs> I think that's madness. Taking a moment whilst I can. The team are just getting on with everything, uh, making sure we've got all of the behind the scenes, the setup, all the little small pieces. We're still waiting for the lile and the notepads and the collagen. <sighs> Pray for me. <laughs> Pray for me that they arrive. Hey Oats! Odie is in full creative mode. He's just sort of checking up on everybody. This dog really is like his father. Yes, he is. You're like daddy, aren't you? You just like to go around making sure everybody's doing their jobs correctly, pulling the final pieces together. Yeah? Hmm? You're a beauty. I know, where's daddy? We miss him. Marcus didn't actually fly back from Mallorca. My mother did. Um, he had to stay out there because it really is crunch time with the project in Mallorca. We move in. Uh, okay. This is a lot of emotion for the morning and I do have my moisturizer on. I'm not sure you want magic cream on your tongue. No, no. I love you, but no. Um, so he stayed there and he is normally the most incredible person to have sort of doing the final touches of a, a party. He has that eye where he just sees things that other people don't. Um, so I'm sad he's not here with us, but I have the second best thing. Actually the best thing, my dash hands. My dash hands. And they are going to be the stars of the show. They have beautiful little pink bow ties for today. Obviously the theme is pink, but obviously we want to keep it super classy and super classic. So there's lots of whites, fresh greens, daisies, dahlias. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, look at this. So the central meadow for the tablescape is finished. Is that not spectacular? Look at these cafe au lait dahlias, the beautiful garden roses, the cosmos, the delphiniums. Absolutely beautiful. I'm obsessed with the daisies and then the little hints of yellow. I can't wait for you guys to see the entire tableware. Please excuse the blower, that is John, blowing up all of the leaves to ensure that it is pure perfection for the guests. Oh my goodness me, I can't believe my dream and my vision has come to life. The amount of calls discussing this was amazing and they truly brought my dream to life. I can't believe it.
last few little items that is going to make the table. So as I showed you yesterday, Jo Loves has been so kind and sent their beautiful candles and they will be scenting the luncheon today amongst these magnificent florals. So as you can see, we actually have a few little hints of white and yellow from the gorgeous Mason Margot bowls, the hints of yellow in the cosmos and the daisies. And I just think they will look spectacular with the gorgeous Joe Loves candles. So I am simply just going to dot them down the table. They look absolutely amazing. And Emma's going to very, very kindly take us through and just talk us through the yeah. floral inspiration. Well, inspiration was actually you and a house. Like, that's the best thing. The and masterpiece. That's you, exactly. That's how you make a space unique. Oh my goodness. So, yeah. Look at that. And like, no words, man. Absolutely so no words. Fluff. So, yeah, we took colors from basically the carpet and the drapes around. So curtains. we have we have curtains here. Yeah, we have a little kind of off pink, yeah. darker and what? <gasps> the, the, honestly, these dahlias are the really the caviar laid dahlias, along with the white. They're almost like marshmallows, mm -hmm. cow parsley. I love incorporating sort of the country. We're in the exactly. middle of nowhere. <laughs> Is that not and then the dahlias. Oh my good yeah, god! Yeah. It looks spectacular. Also got little bits of purple and blue, sort of bringing in the blue tones of the house. Exactly. Beautiful. I mean, I think this is a showstopper for people walking in. And be like, but wow. little do they know? Oh yeah. <laughs> like, oh, they put everything at the entrance. Literally, they're going to think, oh well, that. the budget was spent at the front. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, little do they no, know. No, no, no. So I then we have. <laughs> Oh, yeah. So then we have a beautiful little posy here, just along with the dog. Nothing too much, but Nothing. so dainty, to keep him company. pretty, <laughs> and it's just delicate and exquisitely put together. Then, but you. so talented, it is unreal. Then we come through to the kitchen. Mm -hmm. This is so sweet. I love how you've done this. This vase is amazing. It's this so is gorgeous. this is perfect made for an angel look it at this all these little gaps I love let them shine our, around our and these are english well. hydrangeas english hydrangeas yeah, garden ones they're stunning absolutely beautiful and well with this. Yes. we've then gone with like a blue theme in here exactly. we've laid up the table we're actually not eating in here however we've just laid up the table we might be having a dinner this evening um, I'm sure we'll have lots of food left over that Chef is cooking us. Oh yeah, look at the, the, <laughs> the sous chefs, the sous chefs. chefs at the bottom, the Argus slugs. <laughs> and then Nam, I mean, look at this. Yeah. Please excuse my paperwork, that will be going. But this is absolutely stunning. I love, I mean, what are these called? Uh, rose hips. Rose hips. Yeah, those have been a little spray roses, now they're... Roses. They have a different form. So what have you done here? We've got hydrangeas. Yes. Viburnum. Viburnum. Beautiful viburnum. Exactly. More cut parsley. More hydrangeas. Got garden roses. Look at those. They're epic. They're oh, almost yeah. like the round three roses. And then we're going to go outside. Oh yeah. 
So we're now in the back hallway and we do always have our faux aliens. Yes. Aliens? Which aliens, yeah. Aliens. Which actually look very real. You know, they're, they're great silks they and they work. So that's fantastic. Exactly. You have done the most exceptional job here. We have a beautiful antique. It's almost like a little mini trough. Exactly. Um, and we've created like... So yeah, we use wax flower and the poppy heads together with the foliage and everything. It's, it's not in the water because it's antique piece. So we just put it for today and it's going to last because it's for lasting flowers and it just it amazing. looks stunning. I love it. Stunning. Are you guys ready? I wasn't ready. Are oh, yeah. you ready? Oh yeah, I am. You were born ready. You, you <gasps> blow me away with the, with the settings around. It's not just me. It's actually her. Let's go outside, guys. Here we go. This, wow, this is going to be the picture moment. Absolutely love. epic. I love the highs and lows, how loose it is, but yet you have so much power. It's, it's basically dancing here on the wheel. Dancing, like, look at this. yeah. It's together with Wisteria around, it's just in, like, a lot of movement. A lot of movement, look at those exactly. aliens, hydrangeas. Yeah. I love these. What Wax flower. Wax flower. Wax flower. It's so gorgeous. dainty and pretty. Very nice. And little spray roses as well. A tiny, delicate oh fountain grass goodness. as well. Yeah. You are truly a magician, Nam. <laughs> but this is not. This is not why we're here, no? This is not why we're here. <laughs> this is why we're here. Feast your eyes on this mind blowing tablescape. Have you ever seen something? You guys understood the assignment. I had this vision. Listen, I, I, when you said that you're not bothered with people seeing each other, for me, that was uh, like music yes. for my ears. <laughs> Literally music for my ears. But like, then we can make a meadow. You, yeah, you said we can make a meadow a on meadow. a table. And we've got the highs, it. the dahlias, oh, yeah. these beautiful flowers here. Yeah, the cosmos rose. as well, that you have as a little plate yes, in here. you have a little cosmos in here. So if you take yeah. a look at the Mason Margot bowl, it has the cosmos. And that's this one. And that's the That's flower. this little boy. Oh, it's <laughs> epic. And then I also had this dream that all of my guests were going to be sitting with stunning flower crowns. And Nem has made the most beautiful real flower crowns out of spray yeah. roses. And look at this. The guests are going to look exquisite. But look at this tablescape. Come and take a little look down here. We've got posy vases. We've got the Joe Loves candles. The pop of fresh white, I think, really pulls out yes. the color in the tablecloth, the bamboo. And then you've got the beautiful roses here. Daisies. Then more, yeah, daisies. Daisies. Well. Oh my goodness, Nam. I truly cannot thank you enough. No, Talk about having pleasure. a few meetings. I feel like I, I listened to you and I was like, yeah, he's got it. He's got it. But you have blown my mind. This is thank bigger you. and better than I could have ever imagined. That's what we wanted. That's what we wanted to thank do. You. No, honestly, it is <laughs> no, absolutely. Really. I can't wait to see everybody's faces. Oh. That will be a, a dream proper, proper, proper come true. wow moment. I think it's going to be a wow moment. And then we do have two very, very dainty, pretty tables oh, of yeah. four. So come and have a little look. A cake table. Because you exactly named it perfectly. It's like icing on the cake. Yeah. So as I showed you yesterday, we have these beautiful little tables. And actually, they were my grandmother's tables. Really? So, so special. We've actually oh. got really quite a few things today yeah, from my and grandmother the well. and the vase. Exactly. But look at this. It's so it's beautiful, but honestly, this crockery is the absolute dream. I think I might have to end up buying this crockery at yeah. the trade <laughs> No, 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 it's You've got it's the beautiful perfect. flower crowns around, and this, I love how we've done, use the natural oh, rope yeah. vase. And to connect them with the, with the chairs. With the chairs, exactly. Yeah. We've got the wicker chairs. And, and in this one, we have a tiny baby alliums. Look, look at these. Oh, wow. So cute, and touch of Camilla as well. For the yellow elements to connect All of my YouTube subscribers this. are adore gardens, and yes. every time I take them for a little garden tour, they absolutely love oh, yeah. it. This so, is a little garden on a table. A garden on a table. The exactly. icing on the cake. Well, I cannot thank you enough for talking to my YouTube subscribers, Pleasure. having a little <laughs> tour around the house, and I have, I genuinely have goosebumps.
finely dressed and hopefully dressed to impress. I'm wearing this beautiful Amelia Wickstead number. Literally feel like a princess. I've got Tivon fine jewelry earrings on because it would be no outfit without Tivon. I then have just a really pretty dainty pair of Christian Louboutins. They're super comfy and they pull out the beautiful pinks in the dress. So I can finally show you the grand tour and talk you through every single element of a Luxury by Leonora luncheon. So first things first, we have a beautiful Ladere macaroon tower. As you can see, they're fully personalized. We've got the rosé, the vanilla, and the pistachio with my logo on, which I'm just in love with on an icing bed. It just looks absolutely scrumptious. Then we have my crudity table. So come on over and take a little look. It's really, really simple and very cost effective. So I picked up this basket actually at a, I think it was at a fair, literally cheap as chips. And then you go to a farm shop or Tesco's Waitrose, any of your local supermarket, pick up as many vegetables as possible. Little secret, actually look for the reduced vegetables because obviously they're cheaper. And um, we then chop everything the same, exactly the same length. We've got the amazing carrots with their branches still left on. Celery, carrots, peppers, cucumbers, fennel, celery again, chicory, the whole shebang in the basket. We've then got every dip under the sun. I have to be honest, I did run out of time and I'm not done my guacamole, but there's lots of avocados in the starter today. Some olives, crisps so that you can dip away. All of the tableware that you see today is from Mason Margot. It is absolutely breathtaking. The creme de la creme of crockery. So you have the beautiful knives and forks. You've got the daisy bowl. You've got the beautiful napkins with the ring holders. Surrounded with a stunning flowered flower crown. You've got the gorgeous cabbage plates. I'm obsessed with the cabbage plates. And then the natural heart placemats. And I think when you see it in a setting like this, amongst these flowers, I truly hope my guest's breath is going to be taken away as much as mine was. Look at it, it is just phenomenal. We then have the goodie bags, and I'm delighted to say that the collo collagen has arrived. Look at this, absolutely incredible. So it's a daily supplement that's developed to tr contribute towards healthier skin, hair growth, nail growth, and just your overall wellness. I feel so privileged that the brands have gifted 22 of these packets for all of the gift bags. We then have the G Brothers menus on the table so everybody can see what they're eating, along with the gorgeous name places. Look at this setup. The table placing, the glasses, the flowers, the dolphiniums, the daisies. I am over the moon. I can't believe that my dream has come to light. All of these incredible brands have all come together to celebrate three years of my business with the most inspirational ladies who have all been so helpful and lending their advice, so kind. And I'm just so happy that I can finally say a massive thank you. And I don't know about you guys, but I think they may be blown away by this setting. I love this little table. Oh, the wind is blowing, but the sun is shining. And doesn't it look magnificent? Like them says, it's like the icing on a cake. Now finally, but quite possibly most excitingly, we have the drinks table. Now I am so excited to be able to introduce you guys to a new brand and it's so wonderful, like I was saying yesterday, to be able to work with friends of mine. So a dear friend of mine, Yvonne, is the winemaker of quite possibly the most incredible champagne I have ever tasted. So when it came to having the luncheon, I thought there's only one champagne brand that I would love to serve here and it is called Les Sans 
So this is the bottle. It's a Blanc de Blanc. It's made in France oh, yeah. and it is scrumptious. It truly is as good as it gets. A very, very high premium luxury champagne. It's all about the taste and it is phenomenal. They do also have their black label. It is really rather rich and it's actually 0% sugar. So it's actually not that sweet, but we will be serving the orange label today for the luncheon because it's slightly more delicate and more appropriate to be served with lunch but these are absolutely remarkable and I can't wait to be able to showcase a little bit more about it and actually tell you the story. We have a very very special guest today. The brand is actually named after the five daughters of the founder and the owner of the business and one of the daughters is coming today so I will introduce you to her. Next, we have Mason, Mirabeau, Rosé and Gin. So their pure Rosé is my favourite Rosé of all time. It's made in Provence and they also have this incredible pink dry gin. If you like gin, please try this because it is absolutely delicious. And then, as you guys know, all my parties, I adore serving Lille. When guests arrive, they need a little spritz to get them in the party mood. So this is Archie, he is our wonderful butler, and he is serving the drinks for today. So today we have the Lille Rosé. So you have 50 mils of the Lille Rosé with 100 mils of Fever Tree Tonic. Now Fever Tree Mixers have been so kind and partnered with us today to provide all of the mixers, and it's served with fresh thyme and fresh grapefruit. And it wouldn't be a Leonora party without a load of sausage dogs. <laughs> so we have our little sausage dog planters planted up with thyme, ready for the Lille spritzers. So that is our drinks table for today, along with my phone and everything else. <laughs> but I think it's going to be the most magical day. I cannot wait for the guests to start arriving. And the sun is about to poke out of those clouds which can you know go away and let's just have the best day with two of the 
the most beautiful girls in the entire world. I, there's no introduction needed for this mega star. We have Josie and Jessica. How easy is that? that. Beautiful rolls off the tongue. And do you know what? I have so many people ask me in the comments a lot about my business. How did I get to where I am today? What are my top tips? And do you know what? Today we have so many incredible ladies from so many different areas in the business world. And I thought it would be really interesting to get their top tips and their advice. So, starting off with obviously social media sensation, Josie. So, what would be someone aspiring to be a social media superstar as yourself? Stepping back a few steps is in the early stages of your career. Something that I always advise teenagers or young girls and guys that are on the first stage of their career is that you just have to be open to every opportunity because you never know which opportunity is going to be the one that you end up running Say with. yes to everything. Say yes to everything. If you are lucky enough to get an internship, then be the last one at the office. Don't be clock watching at 5 p.m. and be like, right guys, I'm off now. If you are in the early stages of your career, that is when you have to work your socks off. I've got a theory that because our generation, us relics over here, we didn't share these early stages of our career online, mm. that I think that the the young spring chickens coming in now, Gen Z, they yeah, almost like forget that we did go through that part of we our career. Grafted, we grafted yeah. so hard, but we just didn't share it online. Yeah. So I think that like that stage of grafting is so important. Like everyone, every single person here has done that. And I think it's really important to remember that you have to put in such hard work from day one and be the person that at the end of the day you go around and make sure that is there anything else I can do like be the person that you wish that you could employ I think you told me that story that when, when you were in the office before you ever left Josie would literally walk around the office and be like not about like I don't know being up somebody's bottom or anything no. but you were literally like is there anything else I can do yeah. and you literally I think that's the graph that you have and the mm. passion that you have no matter what level you are yeah. I think that's incredible absolutely mm -hmm. incredible and you such an amazing thing and I think that as well the best career career advice anyone ever gave me, especially when thinking about uni and what you want to do for the first stage of your career, we've got great security on the on the job here, is to, I lost my train of thought because there are sausages doing a very good security <laughs> Sorry, job. sorry, we've got music, we've got sausages, we've got everything going on. We've got it all going on, but just to do what you're passionate about, I think if you choose subjects and if you choose work experience that you're passionate about, you've got to, if you, when you find your career, you're stuck doing that for the rest of your life, so you've got to love what you're Doing. Yeah, so exactly. find something yeah. that you're passionate about and run with it. Run with it. Well, that is absolutely incredible advice. Now we have somebody in a very different field, but actually equally as important for people like Josie and I. So Jessica is the most incredible PR. So she was in her own right. She was at the very, very top. She then had a baby and she's like an entrepreneur super mum. And yeah, what would be your top tips for sort of almost like stepping back from that corporate world, having a baby and then setting up your own business. I think it's so funny what you were just saying really resonated with me because it's so important to PR yourself. So Absolutely. whatever industry you're in, when you stay behind at the end of the day and you go around and ask, is there anything I can still do? Mm -hmm. You're putting yourself forward, you're making yourself mem mem memorable yeah, and that Absolutely. I think speaks volumes because later down the line people remember that, they remember the hard graft you put in. Yeah. You know, we've all interned, mm -hmm. I've literally been on my hands and knees when I first started at Lauder, packing the bags. Yeah. Bags, Steam such as the bags. ones we can see kind of in our chairs today. Oh, don't, yeah. I was packing the bags last night. You know, there's nothing that I would not do, but exactly. yeah. But it's not all glamorous. Yeah, it's you not all glamorous. You have to be prepared to get your hands dirty yeah. and just make yourself memorable. And then now, for me, that's really kind of paying off having set up my own thing because those brands and uh, they remember and when they kind of approach agencies and they say oh we're looking for someone who's freelance they'll say oh have you spoken to Je have you spoken to Jess yeah. um, because I put myself out there when yeah. I kind of first started out um, also kind of just getting that whole <laughs> breadth of experience having done like for myself having done in-house and agency mm. then I kind of felt really well equipped when I went out by myself um, what was your first step into PR how did you get that first like it was interning door. Clinique. Interning. yeah so that's when I was packing the bags you know and they thought um, that one the goes the extra mile and so we're gonna give her yeah. the job you have yeah. to be the yeah. super intern yeah you do absolutely yeah. and I think a lot of people kind of just want to jump 
the ladder mm. too very quickly. quickly. And actually that's something that I think, especially in our field, you don't show it that often. You, you don't see the absolute graft, the blood, sweat and the tears that goes into creating a career. You sort of see the very glossy, glamorous bit at the top. Um, but that's taken me 10 years. Yeah, yeah. exactly. It's taken me that's 10 years and having realize. a baby. Mm. Exactly. Yeah, to kind of get there. But I think as well for a lot of mums, they're really scared to take that plunge and maybe work for themselves. For me, I always knew that's what I had to do because I wanted to be very present for Zander and manage my own hours and work in the evenings, kind of what we were just saying, so that I could be there to kind of raise him. Um, but don't be scared. No, just go for it. Because well, you are super mum, honestly. And I feel so honoured that I have the most exceptional group of ladies with us today. And you'll be hearing from a few other ladies Ladies, again in different fields a little bit later but thank you girls for being on our YouTube and we'll see you in a little bit. I have got three more people to come and talk to you about what they do, how they built their business and what their top tips and tricks would be in their trades. So I feel like zero introduction needed. Okay, she's a superstar over here. Oh, so we've got Alex. So you are like, you've just taken over social media. You are oh, the most incredible you. YouTuber. And like in terms of your Instagram, I literally look at your Instagram and be like, right, I want to look really chic, cool, so classy, classic, elegant. And I literally go to your Instagram page. So how, how did you, what were your, what were the things that you did at the beginning? And trust me, I know it's, it's a graft, yeah. it's a slog. Yeah. So what would be your top tips and tricks to be a social media megastar? <laughs> I think I'm still trying to be, I think I need the tips still as well. I think you've got to stay current and although I wouldn't call myself a trend follower, I prefer to dress more classic, you've got to provide solutions to problems that people have. So it's all well and good just showing outfits, but I always go from the approach of, right, what question can I answer with this video? So as simple as how would I style a satin skirt and I will show exactly how to style it, I'll speak and I'll explain because I think sometimes it's one thing looking at a picture, if you don't understand it, how are you going to learn and have all the tools in your toolbox to be able to build a good wardrobe. So I like to think I come at it from a more educational approach. I so love that. That's what I would say. And that's actually, that's maybe probably the reason why I go to your account because yeah. I learn how to put pieces together yeah. that are so versatile as well. Exactly. Just think about the questions you can answer and the problems that people face and I find I get most of my inspiration from people gen like genuinely leaving me comments saying I've just bought this how do, do I style I do it? it I don't yeah, know what to wear exactly. it and I love those comments because then I've got just a notebook full of ideas so yeah that would be my that would be my little tip bit <laughs> amazing well thank you so much now we have I think one of the most inspirational women I've ever met. So not only is your account just phenomenal, sort of quite country-led, yeah. so you're a country bumpkin, if you don't mind me saying, yeah, both yeah. of us, <laughs> but she's also a doctor. I mean, mic drop. Can you just like, actually, you're really rather annoying. <laughs> I've got to come after these ladies. How do you have time? How do you do it all? Um, I don't know. So my social media grew incredibly slowly. It was definitely a, a, a hobby. Um, but I, I don't know. I just try to stay very authentic. Just post stuff that I was doing all the time. Um, so it really is your life. Yeah. And the brands that I work with is, is things that I would have been wearing all day, every day, anyway. And um, yeah, I, I still I still see it as a hobby, but doing stuff like this, meeting but you're yeah, saving people's like lives you. at the same time, yeah. puts <laughs> us to shame, really, yeah, doesn't it? Side. Sorry, Scarlett. No, no, Sorry. No, no, now we've got the no, most no. beautiful human being, oh, the most talented oh, writer. No. And am I right in saying that you've only gone um, content creator full time in the last year? Yes. So how did you make? I think that's actually quite a question mm. that people have. How do you go from taking it from a hobby to actually going flat out full time content creator? Because that's quite a scary is, leap yeah, to make. Yeah. Um, consistency. I would say just being consistent um, and just staying authentic, staying yourself, being really approachable. I think as well. I think replying to comments all the time and replying mm -hmm. to messages and actually being yeah. engaging, a real engaging. person because yeah. it's very rare to find real people online. Yeah. Yeah. So I think actually being approachable yeah. um, and just posting real 
like real life stuff. Things, yeah, post the good post stuff, the post the bad yeah, stuff. Yeah, 100%. Well, you guys are all such an inspiration to me and that's really what today is about. Just actually saying thank you for being such an, whether you know it or not, like you've all been, every single one of you has been such an inspiration to me and how I built my sort of business. And um, I just feel so lucky to have all I'm of so you. I want to say thank you to you. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. This is the most incredible host yeah. yeah. Thank you. Honestly, today my face is really hurting. <laughs> I'm smiling so much. But um, yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed meeting these absolute super model stars. <laughs> So these are the goodie bags in their entirety. So they come in a stunning lingerie bag. Look at that branding, it is absolutely beautiful. Then we have the Colo Health, this is the collagen personalized macaroons from Ladere. So you can see the incredible pyramid behind. The best product on the beauty and skincare market, One on One Skin's Radiance Oil. I am besotted with this. And of course, the product I cannot live without is the Rose Gold Treatment Masks. Everybody got a beautiful little candle, a full-size bottle of Lillet. I just can't even get over it. This Blanc is absolutely delicious. And then Fever Tree Mixes sent the tonic waters. This is a Noble Macmillan notepad with little gold dashed on it. Then a Joe Loves candle, the perfume, the Mirabeau. This is rosé in a can. And then there's a beautiful piece from Nice Cream London, as well as the Tivon Fine Jewelry brochure. This is just so gorgeous. Anyway. So that is the goodie bag. I truly hope everybody loved it as much as I've adored putting it together. Well, our last guest has left. We are the three musketeers <laughs> that are left standing. Three blondies. But girls, how do we think today went? It was incredible, like every single detail of the, of the lunch and every single brand was just unreal. Leonora, you smashed it. You smashed it. <laughs> it was perfection. Yeah, I, I think I taught you well, content. but my goodness, yes. I have yes. never ever seen such attention to detail. You yes. were incredible. And everybody that came, I really bonded with. with. That's like genuinely yeah, I, I know, the, they oh, just I'm getting appreciated emotional. every little touch that you did. <laughs> oh, Raffi's trying to jump up. <laughs> Raffi! So I crazy. think like that's one of the biggest things. That's I think gone. I always say like I feel so lucky to have fallen in love with a career mm -hmm. first time round with the horses and to have met all of the exceptional ladies who have helped me, whether it was inspiration, mm -hmm. whether it was advice, whether it was just actually shadowing them 
or being true inspirations like there are yeah. ladies today who think that actually we might not know each other that well but the inspiration that I've taken from them was them. so much that I feel so honored that not only was I in love with my first career I feel so lucky that I've been able to find another career that I am right. passionately in love with I don't think anybody finds that rarely people find that first wow. time round exactly. wow. and I found it second time round and I I, I'm so glad that you guys think. I mean, I feel over the moon with the way that it went today. And if my mum is saying that it went well. Yeah, it, it, was a, it was a really, um, genuinely a, a, a beautiful day because you put the effort in and you prepared everything so well. And if I've taught you one thing, darling. That's one thing. So I have learnt, <laughs> I have learnt every single thing I know from this lady here. She is the hostess with the mostess. And look at her with all of her sausage dogs and surrounding and, uh, her. Oh, Claudia has Raffi, the up. blonde bombshell <laughs> that is Lancelot, Lord Odie von Lothenthal. So mommy, a series that we've done today is that a lot of my YouTube subscribers comment on my YouTube channel asking me how I got to where I am today. And I think it's so important. Like I talk about it a lot with you guys and I try and give you as many tips and tricks as I possibly can. Mm. But it's really interesting for you guys to hear from mm. different women in different career paths mm. and maybe some older ladies to find inspiration. So what would be, to be the hostess with the mostess, what would be your top tips for entertaining? Well, I was just about to say earlier, um, fail to prepare and prepare to fail. So if you do all the preparation ahead of your guests arriving, and it, it, it's boring, I know, but um, don't completely cling film everything to death. But if you put the effort in, then when your guests arrive, the, 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 the top it's tip I've got for you, my darling, is then you, you want to spend time with your guests. I and agree more. that is what they want. They don't want you charging around and. It's all done by then. If you put all, all everything the last in, details, yeah. you just, you've got to relax because then they relax. If you're a stressed out hostess, they then are on, on edge. edge. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And they they'll never relax and enjoy themselves so um and obviously we have had copious amounts of champagne <laughs> mommy you're not meant to say that Rose, <laughs> i'm completely cloudy has not had enough it, it, he's to top it, her it, up it, 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 truth be known um the dogs look at them look They're at the comatose so lancelot has exalted. more chicken than you can shake a stick at um, so he is comatose with a very full does belly it help also to have little chef in the background doing yeah. the actual chef food did. the food and Archie, was exceptional uh, today hello. the butler um <laughs> mommy wants camera time the, uh, pouring of the alcohol um, and such really lovely inspirational girls here today I've, I've adored meeting them I really have and I'm obviously a bit of a generation above them but to hear their stories and to tell them a few of mine it's been lovely I really enjoyed it's, you, and you know what? it's Thank been you. so lovely that like a lot of times you come home and mummy comes for sort of almost like friend events but the fact that you've really enjoyed meeting like content creators and editors and entrepreneurs and today. and you've really enjoyed meeting them as well it makes it makes it so much more special to me which is amazing mm. um, so your top tip would be to make sure that obviously fail to prepare, prepare to fail, and to ensure on the day when everybody's arrived to give your guests time. Yes. Anything yeah. else? Uh, keep it simple. And <laughs> even if it's a kitchen supper or a dinner party, full on, have, have that ethos that you are, have fun. Uh, you, want, you actually want to spend some time with your friends and your guests. They, they don't care whether it you looks know, Instagrammable. The, the, the carrots are, you know, not cut in the right shape. You just got to have confidence to throw it out there on the table and, you know, 
obviously it's got to be some lovely ingredients and good food and some good wine but not to stress about it too much if you stress about it they'll be stressed oh, so, I love that, um, oh, I, love that. that. I know all oh, the doglets that's Wiggy Wiggy's constantly barking the I feel like you guys barking. have heard more dogs barking today than you heard mm -hmm. people speaking but again He's another a lady rabbit, <laughs> another lady that I could not have done today without is my wing woman and one of my best friends Claudia <laughs> look at her not only does she look like an absolute supermodel she has ensured that we have captured today to perfection That's so drinking enough. i know we need to get claudia <laughs> another drink so what was your favorite part of today i don't know i think every single every single um piece of this uh, even it was really special because I'm a videographer and I'm always and I'm film nonstop a lots of events, huge brands, smaller, and any of them has such a attention to the details. And I think oh, like, thank like you, my the darling. flowers, like yeah, since early morning, like every single editor was just spectacular. Oh, and the, all the brands, all the guests, the decorations, plus your house, the venue, is the most special place on the earth. Thank you, yeah. darling. I'm so appreciative. And of it course, we've got time. our top it's guest. So can we just take a moment to look at Odie? <laughs> Odie actually can't keep yeah. his eyes open. At Lancelot has fallen asleep <laughs> upright. Um, they are so exhausted with their guests today and um, I can't even cope with this one. Look at the state of it. He is so comatose. I don't know, like, honestly, look at him. Mummy, you're laughing. So Lance, Odin can't actually keep his eyes open. He's now fallen asleep. Oh no, Lance, Lance's gone. Oh no, oh, there he goes. Into grandma's, into grandma's chest. He's got good taste there next to a beautiful Tivon creation. Honestly, look at the state of these dogs. And Rafferty Patrick, aka Rafiki Pumba, is cuddled in to the gorgeous Claudia. <laughs> well, I feel so proud and extremely honoured to have hosted a day like today with the exceptional brands involved, the incredible ladies that came today, my mum for making the effort to fly home, my best friends who filmed the event. Today was like a pinch me moment. And I think we pulled it off, ladies. You certainly have, my darling. <laughs> you oh put the effort goodness. in, and my God, did it pay off. Oh, well, wowza. do you know what? It was a wowza of that. These boys are officially <laughs> comatose. We need a glass of champagne to toast the evening. I truly hope you have enjoyed this vlog, or these vlogs, I should say, part one and part two, as much as I have truly treasured sharing every moment with you. And if you can, please leave a comment below. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. And as always, sending you so much, much love. love. <laughs> <laughs>